Can you guarantee that your dog won't attack other people? How, how would you know that your dog won't do that? I, cu I could not guarantee anything. If he, if he didn't like the look of someone, you just don't know, do you? But I know I've got control of him. Just getting the car ready to transport the little girl. Hi, I'm Phil, and I've helped to transport about over 40 of these XLs now to new places, forever homes. The UK is cracking down on the XL bully, following a rise in dog attacks linked to the breed. From the 31st of December, it became illegal to sell the XL bully, as well as to have the dog in public without a lead or a muzzle, much to the upset of the XL bully community. But from the 1st of February, it will become illegal to own an XL bully without a certificate of exemption. Gonna miss you. For XL bully owner Phil Gregory, he's driven over 40 XL bullies to be rehomed, to, in his words, save them from the ban coming into effect in February. But with the ban potentially coming into effect in Scotland now, Phil says he's become further inundated with requests to help rehome the XL bully. Talk me through this puppy. How did you get her? So I just had a phone call to see if I'd go and pick her up from Lincolnshire um, and she needed to be picked up that evening so I went to get her and uh, took me about two hours brought her back here she's been here five days and then she's going to up into Scotland tonight where did she come from and um, so it was a breeder um, and basically I didn't even I pulled up outside the house they come out with a carrier bag and her and just didn't I didn't even get out of the van they just passed me her. So they're obviously not interested. Why did they give her up? Probably because it's not worth any money to them. They can't get any money out of her, so they don't want to pay the vet bills and stuff. Do you think this has been as a result of the ban? Yeah, 100%, yeah, yeah. They don't know what to do with them, so they're just um, either dumping them or putting them to sleep. Is that what would have happened to this one? Yeah, she was due to get put to sleep today. How does that make you feel? It's horrible, it's sad. It's a life, isn't it? And it's just not right. Mm. Like Boxing Day was the very first one I picked up. Mm. Um, and it just, it's just gone crazy since. Mm. 20 plus, I think, messages every day. Like asking if I'll move them and take them places. Mm. But you just can't keep up. And it's, it's hard to say no as well. Mm. But I spent about £2,000 on my own money. And I just thought, I can't do it. Mm. I just can't keep doing it. Because it, it was just going crazy. Mm. So someone mentioned set a GoFundMe up which I did, um, and I think I've had about two and a half thousand, maybe three thousand now. But it just all goes on fuel. Mm. It's just, it's ridiculous. Mm. Like the Scotland run cost me about £250. What's motivating you to do that though? You know, this is costing you a lot of your own money, a lot of your own time. Yeah, these. What, what motivates you? Just look at this, that's that's what motivates you. They're beautiful. I just, got, I just need to keep going. XL bullies, they have been linked to a lot of dog attacks in the UK. Yeah. So, you know, for a lot of people, they might think, you know, why would you want to have XL bullies in your home, let alone, you know, help to rehome these dogs? What, yeah. what is it to you that attracts you to these dogs? I, I think that they are the most soft oh. dogs you could have. Apart, you know, the Rovers got to get people that train them to be vicious, and that can be any dog. Any dog can be oh. vicious. If you train it to be horrible, it'll be horrible. Scotland's now considering a ban as well. Yeah. Have you seen a rise in the number of people who are asking you to rehome these bullies? They're coming from everywhere. Mm. But I do think Scotland will. If the ban comes in, they'll be moving them then mm. as well mm. from Scotland. So this is Vinny. He's my boy and he's one. And he's absolutely beautiful. Here, Vin. What's this? Outed for this muzzle, which he doesn't really like. He'll try and go back in his crate. Good boy. Oh, and he's gone. <laughs> <laughs> I opted for this because it just says they should be muzzled at all time. So this is advertised as a muzzle. Let's just hold it in place. It's exactly the same as a cage one, but for me, he can still breathe. He can still drink. He can still eat. But he hates it. He just looks sad when he's got it on. <laughs> I first tried with the cage and he scratched himself all to bits here. Then he was rubbing his nose where it's still a little bit scarred. He doesn't really like this one. It's the only dog you know that won't want to go for a walk. But you can't blame him to be fair, it's horrible. What the government have done with the ban is definitely going to make the situation worse with... They're not, get, they're not going to get socialised. Because I take him everywhere. I used to take him in my van with me because I'm a courier. Mm. Um, 
I won't do that now because he has to wear a muzzle even in the van and I just don't think it's fair. Mm -hmm. um, if I pop to the pub, he'll come with me. You know, but I think a lot of people won't take him out because they're scared and, and you get judged. As people judge you, they think you've got a vicious dog on it, and they're not. Would you say that, you know, with the ban, your bully's still allowed to go outside, you're still allowed to keep your dog? Perhaps it's a good middle ground between the public and XL bully owners and the dogs? Yeah, this, I think the public have been really supportive of it. And I don't think the public want it at all. Do you think? Yeah, I don't, I don't, they really don't. The amount of messages I get and support, it's great. you always get the odd hater, you'll always get that, but the majority is support, it's amazing. You know, we've yeah. had YouGov polls which have found that a lot of people are in favour of, you know, the dogs being allowed to still be in public but being muzzled, for example. Yeah. A lot of people are in support of that. Well, I think that's, I think that's just because people have got, got scared, but that, like, it could be any breed. So, you know, like I say, it would be another dog after this one. I just think, I do honestly think most people are supportive of it. Not, not banning them. But I think they need to know that something's going to get done, like maybe license the breeders or something like that. What are your thoughts on like responsible dog ownership? Because you know there is the argument that you can be an irresponsible owner of a very small dog, like a Chihuahua, for example. Yeah. But the the chance of it fatally attacking someone's very small. I mean, well, I'm out with him, and the only problems I get is from little dogs. They're always like like barking at him or want to go at him, and he he doesn't do anything. But Something needs, I don't know what needs to be done, something does, but it is, it is people. People are the irresponsible one, it's not the dog, mm. it's people how they're brought up. Good boy, good boy. There we go, come on. Do you think that there is something that appeals to people about the Axel Bellino, its power and its strength that perhaps attracts the wrong owner sometimes? Yeah, I, I would say that, but like... I mean, we had this with Alsatians and Rottweilers. You know, he's the big dogs, and people people do like big dogs. People like small dogs. It, and some people will buy him for a, a, a status symbol. But I think now it's a cane corso or something that's going to be the next one. Do you want to walk him? We're going this way. Go on. Go on. Good boy. Forward. Come on then. Good boy. Well done. Oh, well. smell something. <laughs> That'll be the one you want you to be down there. With your dog, for example, it is a big dog. Yeah. And if your dog tried to attack me, for example, I don't know if I'd be able to defend myself against your dog because it is so big. Yeah. You know, I think that's sort of a undeniable truth, isn't it? Yeah, more, definitely. But, so then this is why the owners need to be educated. So if he did slightly growl at you or whatever, I've got full control of him. He wouldn't get anywhere near you. And this, this is what it's about. It's people controlling their dogs if it's off the lead and running around it's you know that that could happen but it can happen with any breed of dog i just think people need to educate themselves more on control and look after look after them look after people as well can you guarantee that your dog won't attack other people how, how would you know that your dog won't do that i could i could not guarantee anything if he if he didn't like the look of someone you just don't know do you but i know i've got control of him to me it's all about people and how you bring up your pet that's all it is. Do you think that you'll continue to do this? Yeah. Continue rehoming the dogs? Yeah, for as long as I can. Yeah, definitely. I, d I just don't want to see them put to sleep or dumped. I mean, some of the images you see online and, and that is just, it's horrible. It really is. So I just, if I can keep going, I'll keep going. But I guess, you know, like you said, you're losing out of work on this. Surely there has to come a point where... Yeah, well, I'm hoping, like, like I say, I'm a courier, so I'm hoping I can try and fit jobs in between and do bits as well. There's obviously there's only so much you can do, isn't there? So, but I'll keep doing it. I might not be able to do as many as I'm doing, but I will keep doing it.